Hello, my name is Freder Korpschuk and in this tutorial I want to show you how you can make something like this. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not gonna explain everything, how it works, why Cinema 4D does this and this and this and that. I'm just gonna walk you through the process just like a car i don't know exactly how it works but i just use it what you need you need an image i have this one it's a square image and you need a folder with a lot of images i have a folder here with 2500 images that's a lot i reduce the size to 700 by 644 uh, that's what you need those two things go to cinema 4d remove the cube and make a plane. I'll change the size to a square, a thousand by a thousand. That's the size of my image. And one segment, change the orientation to minus Z. I zoom out, create a new material, call it image. I remove the specular, go to the color texture and say load image. I'll load this image, open it, close it, and drag it. I will bring this out of the way, call the image, and go to coordinates and say minus a thousand. Then I'm going to create a cube, change the size to a 30, 30 by 30 by 30. Keep it selected, go to MoGraph, press Alt or Option, and click on the cloner. In that case, it will align under the cloner. Go to the cloner again, make it in the mode of the object, a grid array, and change this to 1. Change the size to 1000 by 1000, just like the image. If you have different size in your image, change it to that size, it's easier to, to calculate things. It's 30 centimeters per cube is a thousand, so let's change this to 33 by 33. This is how it looks like. Now every cube is going to be replaced by an image that looks like this image. So the next thing we have to do is go create a new material, call it the shader, or call it by your own name, what you want to do with it. Go to color, texture, and go to MoGraf, multi shader. Click on the multi shader, change the mode to average color, and this can take a while. We're going to add a folder. I'm going to add a folder with 2500 images, so it can take a while. I will fast forward. No. And this process can take a while depending on how much uh, images you have and how big the images are. Here it is. I close this and also that can take a while. And I save the file. Okay, next thing we'll do, the shader, we can drag it to the cube and the image, the same image as here, you see something changes. Let's render it. It's all one, one image. Uh, the image we're going to drag to the cloner. Next thing, material, and change the projection to flat. Now, if we take a look at the texture mode, we'll see that the texture is too small. We need the texture to cover the whole cloner object. So go to text, fit the object. Do you want sub objects to be included? Yes, now it's correct. Let's go back to the normal mode. Still, there's still not much changing now click on the cloner and go to MoGraph effector and select shader now something is happening go to the parameter remove the skill also remove the alpha strength and now go to the shading change the channel to color and select the image and drag it here and now if you render you see that this image 
is duplicating this image. You can see it's the same. You also can see it's not that good in my opinion. What you can do, it will take more render time, but maybe you can choose whatever you want. Go to the cube, change it to 5 by 5 by 5. Go to the cloner, change it to 149 by 149 and render it. And you see you can increase the quality. You can play around with it. Well, this was it for now. In part two, I'm going to show you how you can uh, give it some animation and do some stuff with it. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Adios.